I am Wilma Malcolmson of Shetland Designer. This is my workshop here in Coningsboro. I'm Terry from Terry Laura and I am Wilma's granddaughter. In 1988 we built this workshop. I've had the most wonderful knitters doing knitting for me all through this business. And always people in the community as well. Yes. And that carries on. The shop is still stocked with especially hand knits. Yes from knitters all over Shetland. All over Shetland. Shetland Wool Week is a really important event for us and it's like one of the highlights of our year. What's your favourite part about Wool Week? Oh, definitely meeting all the old friends we've made and new friends, knitters from all over the world. Very exciting this year is the fact that you're the patron. It's a huge honour. There's so many other knitters who could have been patron. And how did you feel when you found out it was going to be you? Oh, I was quite shocked. <laughs> but I like the idea. One of the first jobs is to design the hat. So tell us a bit about your design. I designed and named the hat Katie's Cap. It's in honour of my mother who taught me to knit at a very young age. I wanted to use her favourite patterns. I had to use yarns from different companies, of mm -hmm. course. This was the one from Jemison's. Yeah. And this was Uradel Yarns, this was Jemison and Smith, and then this was Elizabeth Johnson's Hand Spun Hand Dyed. What a treat! So luxurious <laughs> to knit with. Mothers taught their children really young to, to help out straight away. Yes. When I was young, knitting was going on all around us. Everyone was knitting because it was important to the economy. Once I learned, I wanted to design clothes for my dolls. Very important. At the oh, time. absolutely. <laughs> and now you have taught a lot of traditions to me and now with Piri Makers as well. You're teaching yes. children mm -hmm. and passing on the traditions. Mm -hmm. How does that kind of feel? It's wonderful because at one time we thought that knitting was not so popular and maybe our traditions would die out and seeing you progressing in your business, I think knitting is quite healthy. You spent a lot of your working time looking at your surroundings and just taking it all in and turning it into something. Yes, I think in Shetland there is so much rich landscape. The colours of the hills and things like that, but there's lots of other details. Yes, I made a design from a patch of seaweed on the beach. Because of Wool Week, knitters started coming and they were interested in how do you actually work this out in your mind? Well, that's when I started doing inspiration pieces, like mm -hmm. a photograph, and then pick out the colours. It's the roof. Yeah, that's, I think, helped people see the process. I see here. Yeah. You've been bringing in your other interests. Yes. So you'll use paintings from local artists. Yes. You have your stoneware. You can see the blue of the fish and the red spots. I think we might be guilty for getting people hooked a little bit on looking for the colours that's yes. around them. And when you're so interested in colour, you're never the same people again because you, you're keeping looking for inspiration. Hooked on knitting in general. Yeah. 